We're here at the Colorado Mission of Mercy. It's free dental care, no questions asked. First come, first serve, for people that have often been putting off their care in order to take care of their children. With the economic situation that we're dealing with, just putting food on the table, clothing on their kids, transportation to the job, or several jobs, there's no money left for dentistry. So they just suffer. Well, this is an opportunity to remove the suffering that these people have been with for years. That's what the Colorado Mission of Mercy is all about. We don't make enough money to buy health insurance for our family, but we make too much money to get help with the state. My husband and I both work and we both, you know, pay bills and food and rent. So no money left to do anything else. I guess self-esteem is the biggest problem for me and work. I think it'll help both a great deal. You know, when you ain't got the front teeth and they're all broken and whatnot, people tend to, whether they mean to or not, you know, kind of shy away or, or what have you, because they think that you're, I don't know, maybe dirty or just poor. You know, and there ain't nothing wrong with being either one, just it was our turn to get fixed. So I'm, I'm absolutely thankful that this place was here today. He's one of the, he's the best doctor I've ever had work on my mouth, ever. I have to honestly say that. It was, it was in and done and finished like that. I raised my daughter all by myself working two jobs and she graduated CSU three years ago and works in Denver now. Sometimes it feels like all you do is work and you never, you never get any benefit from it just to pay your bills because there's nothing left over. And I wasn't always in this position, but things happened and I gave one of the dentists this morning when he told me he would, they would go ahead and fix my teeth. I gave him a hug and started crying, you know, it's just like, the fact that you guys would just do this. No, Thank you so much. I'm overwhelmed and overjoyed. The problem is that these people have care that needs to be met, but they don't have a dentist to go to, either because of lack of income or lack of knowledge about why they should go to the dentist. And that's part of what we do today. We're not only taking care of the problems, but we're trying to educate them as to how they can try and prevent those problems from coming back again. What is overwhelming for me is that we have all of these dentists and dental students and all these professionals that say, you know what, we're going to try to make a difference and help as many people as we can help today. We work for hugs and we get a lot of hugs. There's a hug quotient that we have here and it's very high. There's a lot of people that really appreciate and understand what we're doing for them.